Hey everyone, I am Ed Gutowski and I wanted you to welcome you to our English 1C class. Hey look, our class is going to be a lot of fun. English 1C is a class that focuses on one thing, one thing only. It focuses on rhetoric and argument. Now I've taught this class both online and on ground and it is always fantastic. Students love uh, the rhetoric and argument part of class. It's always kind of fun. And I'm particularly excited about uh, the readings for our class because uh, I've changed some things up uh, for our class. And in, at the end of this video, I'll kind of talk about the textbooks for class. But I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let me just tell you about the setup for class. So our class, we never meet in person. We uh, Everything is online. And all of the assignments, for the most part, are due at the end of the week and I'm basically making everything due on Saturday with there's essentially two exceptions one exception is on Monday every Monday you'll need to check in read over the agenda and then just let me know that you've read the agenda and that way it puts a little bit of pressure on me I get to check in early on in the week I can see if you have any questions about the class uh, and I can start grading work as it comes in so basically for the most part uh, Everything is going to be due on Saturday except for the Monday weekly check-ins. And for week one, it's important that you send me a welcome email. Uh, and I need the welcome email by Wednesday because what I'll end up doing is if I have rooms for ads, I'll start dropping students. So make sure that you do send a welcome email where you introduce yourself to me. Uh, give me, Let me know a little bit about, about your background and so we can kind of create an interpersonal connection. So with regards to our class, we know we're going to focus on rhetoric, we're going to focus on argument, we're going to think that logos, pathos, ethos, we'll look at fallacies, talk about things like the Regarian argument, get into some stasis theory. It's always loads of fun. But what I did was I changed up uh, some things in class. So the first book that we're going to look at is called The Pilot's Wife by Anita Shreve. And uh, this is the, the first time that I'm using Shreve's book for an English uh, 1C class because uh, this, uh, students, so we've read two other novels by Anita Shreve and students have loved her book. This book was considered to be her best novel and I want to look at arguments within it that would argue why is Shreve, uh, why this is her best book and why is she considered to be such a great writer. The other book that we're going to look at is uh, Everything's an Argument. This is the textbook for class. Um, I know that the bookstore has the most current version. You're free to use the eighth edition here, but you're going to want to get that pretty quickly by either week two or week three. Uh, and again, this is a textbook that will help us understand how things like the Regarian Argument work, uh, help us understand Logos, Pathos, Ethos, and Fallacies. I will use that book, so you want to make sure you buy it. I'm also going to do some readings from uh, They Say, I Say. There's a collection of essays in there that are pretty contemporary, and I found that when I used it in the past, students like the contemporary arguments. So um, you want to make sure we'll get that. We'll write at least four papers based on that. And we are going to end with Shakespeare, Henry V. And Henry V is epic. It is a great play, right? It's a play about war, it's a play about politics, and it's a play about rhetoric. I know students oftentimes are nervous about uh, reading Shakespeare, especially online. I will make it work out. Everything is going to work out. So I just want to stress, I know we got a lot to cram in an eight-week class, um, but it'll all work out. Just trust in the process and... Uh, if you need anything, I do have Zoom office hours that I'm going to start holding on Mondays from 9 to 10. But other than that, everything is going to be online. So you can email me. Let me know if you have any questions, but I'm excited for our class.